The Meite outlawed groups, such as Arambai Tengel, UNLF, United National Liberation Front, and Meite Lipan, play a significant role in the complex socio-political landscape of Manipur, India. These groups are part of a broader movement seeking greater autonomy or independence for the Meite community, who predominantly inhabit the state of Manipur. Arambai Tengel, a relatively lesser-known group, Arambai Tengel, is one of the factions involved in the Meite insurgency. Its objectives align with the broader aspirations of Meite self-determination. This group, like others, advocates for the protection and promotion of Meite identity, culture, and interests. United National Liberation Front UNLF, UNLF is one of the oldest and most prominent insurgent groups in Manipur. It was formed in 1964 with the goal of establishing an independent socialist Manipur. UNLF perceives the merger of Manipur with India in 1949 as a forceful annexation and seeks to rectify what it views as historical injustice. Over the years, UNLF has been involved in various activities, including armed resistance, to achieve its objectives. Meite Lipan, Meite Lipan, also known as the People's Revolutionary Party of Kanglipak, Pripak, is another key player in the Meite insurgency. Established in 1977, Pripak aims to establish an independent socialist state for the Meite people. Like other insurgent groups, Pripak believes that the merger of Manipur into the Indian Union was against the will of the Meite population and seeks to reverse this through armed struggle. Objectives and Grievances These outlawed Mayday groups share common grievances related to political, economic, and cultural issues. They argue that the central government in India has marginalized the interests of the Mayday community, leading to socio-economic disparities and a loss of cultural identity. The demand for autonomy or independence stems from the belief that Manipur should govern its affairs independently, free from what these groups perceive as external interference. Armed struggle, the Mete outlawed groups have engaged in armed struggle as a means to achieve their political objectives. This has led to a cycle of violence in Manipur, with clashes between these groups and Indian security forces. Civilians often find themselves caught in the crossfire, leading to humanitarian concerns. Impact on society, the presence of these outlawed groups has had a profound impact on the daily lives of the people in Manipur. The region has experienced instability, economic challenges, and human rights issues. The conflict has also affected the education system, development projects, and the overall well-being of the population. Government Response The Indian government has responded to the insurgency in Manipur through a combination of military operations and attempts at dialogue. However, Finding a sustainable solution remains elusive due to the complex nature of the grievances and the historical context of the conflict. The Meite outlawed groups like Arambai Tengel, UNLF, and Meite Lipan are integral to the ongoing insurgency in Manipur. Their objectives, rooted in historical grievances and aspirations for self-determination, have led to a protracted conflict with significant implications for the region. A comprehensive and inclusive approach addressing the socio-political concerns of the Meite community is crucial for fostering lasting peace in Manipur. Potential ramifications of allowing Meite outlawed groups free reign in Manipur The hypothetical scenario of the Manipur government allowing Meite outlawed groups a free hand raises concerns and questions about the potential ramifications for the state and its residents. Such a move would undoubtedly have far-reaching consequences on the socio-political landscape, security dynamics, and the overall well-being of the population. 1. Security implications, granting Meite outlawed groups unrestricted freedom could lead to an escalation of violence and instability in the region. The groups, empowered by a lack of government intervention, might intensify their activities, putting both civilians and security forces at risk. This could create an environment of fear and uncertainty, hindering normal life and development in Manipur. 2. Erosion of rule of law, allowing outlawed groups a free hand challenges the very essence of a stable and functioning society governed by the rule of law. The government's failure to enforce law and order could lead to a breakdown of civil governance, eroding the trust of the people in the state machinery. 3. 
Human rights concerns, a permissive approach towards outlawed groups may result in an increase in human rights violations. Civilians could become targets or be caught in the crossfire, leading to a humanitarian crisis. Such a scenario would necessitate international attention and condemnation, impacting Manipur's standing on the global stage. 4. Impact on development The presence of outlawed groups operating without constraints could severely impede the economic and social development of Manipur. Investors may shy away, and essential infrastructure projects may be jeopardized, hindering progress and prosperity for the residents. 5. Regional and national repercussions The implications of such a decision would extend beyond Manipur's borders. It could strain relations between the state government and the central government in India, raising questions about the ability of the state to manage its internal affairs. Neighboring states and nations may also be affected, as the repercussions of instability seldom remain confined to one region. Government's motivations, understanding why a government might take such a controversial step is crucial. Possible motivations could range from attempting to address historical grievances to seeking a political solution through dialogue. However, the risks associated with allowing outlawed groups free reign necessitate a careful examination of the potential benefits and drawbacks. In conclusion, while the hypothetical scenario of the Manipur government allowing Meite outlawed groups free hands raises significant concerns, it's crucial to note that this is purely speculative. Maintaining peace, ensuring the rule of law, and addressing the root causes of conflict remain essential components for fostering a stable and prosperous Manipur. It is in the interest of the government, the residents, and the nation at large to pursue avenues that lead to lasting peace and development.